I'm talking to Bill West, the Mayor of Cowra. Now, Bill, at Monday night's meeting, the Polpure uh, development application received um, uh, a good vote. Yeah, the, I think that the, the, the salient points on this one, Gary, it was, it was well supported in, within Council, and a six race to three, um, and there were a couple of um, uh, housekeeping, not housekeeping, but a couple of, of rescission motions to pave the way for this, this, this to happen. Uh, but I'd also emphasise that, that this was an amended DA from the original DA. Some of the issues with the original DA and some of the community concerns uh, were primarily around the, 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 the flood level and particularly the siting of a, a pole, sorry, of the composting pad. Um, and the amended DA had removed the composting pad um, completely out of the, the development application. Uh, and the, consequently, uh, council felt that the, the maps that we've been provided with, uh, in the one depicting one in 100, were, were sufficient. Uh, and particularly when a footprint clearly shows that, 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 that any construction, any work is going to be carried out up in, in the level consistent with the CAR STP as it currently stands. Now, what sort of material are they going to process? The, the process is, is a, it, it's around um, septic tanks, uh, grease traps, uh, industrial waste of, of a number of kinds, and, and some drill mud. Uh, also going around to the, the, the industrial waste includes some of the water, the separated water uh, in the outer garages in terms of oil. Uh, these uh, products quite often finished up in landfill, which is certainly not, not good for landfill, mm. and something that, that, that has been clamped down on as a process which, which would be, be, be phased out. And uh, some of these products go through, can go through a sort of treatment plant, but if they're, they're put in, in, in a large volume at once, they can have very detrimental impacts on the management of the, of the, the sort of treatment plant itself, which is, which is a very very uh, a very fine balance in getting the chemical dosage right, but also having the right bugs to, 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 to help uh, the treatment. So this is a, a real win for the environment, and it's a matter of how we can handle responsibly products that are in our, in our environment now, on a daily basis, which we all contribute mm. to, how yep. we can better, better manage those and, and make sure that we reduce landfill, some will go to landfill, uh, some will be able to go through an approved sewer treatment plant here or, here or elsewhere, uh, and some product will finish up in, in uh, potentially in, in a composting pad uh, somewhere, but not on that side. So the, the end product uh, will be I mean, basically fertiliser or that sort of stuff? Well, some of the end product can be fertiliser, yes. Mm. Uh, compost, compost certainly can be, uh, some of the liquid, uh, but it'll be done under very strict EPA guidelines and, and scrutiny. So bear in mind, this, this DA was uh, initially assessed by Karashai Council uh, with, in very close uh, concert with the uh, EPA, and then as a result of some issues raised about the, the perceived conflict the Council had, um, it was appropriate, uh, raised, raised and brought to our attention and it was appropriate to go out and have an independent review of, of the DA and the conditions of consent that are applied uh, are, are by and large, or sorry, are the, the conditions imposed by uh, that independent review which were, I must say, very consistent and similar to the, the conditions that council staff had, had applied in the, in the first instance to the amended DA. And have we got a time scale when this may be in operation or construction may begin? And that timeline, and that's that's now up to the to the um, developer. Uh, and this is a little bit chicken and egg that, that, that uh, because it's on council land, uh, now that they've got approval to conduct this business, uh, we now have to mm. negotiate about uh, uh, some area that can be actually leased to the, to, to this company uh, in that, that footprint of the STP, um, which has been identified. But uh, as I say, the chicken and egg. Um, there's no point leasing leasing to to a company if if, if the DA is if they can't conduct that business. Yeah, that makes so, sense. So yeah. Now, now, now it's permissible to have that business in that area. Uh, we've got to go back and you know, now look at look at how we how we lease that, that bit of land to, to to this company, and that of course was very important. And that'll be a, a process which we'll work our way through very 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 appropriately and very properly. Um, due diligence will will be paramount on that. Uh, any anything else you'd like to add? Uh, Gary, I think that the other other point that's been raised in our in our press releases is is, is uh, drawing the community attention that, that that this particular facility will have have some significant benefits to to, to some of the existing industries in Cowra uh, that, that do have issues with with uh, uh, their waste, mm. uh, and the, the companies that are likely to be coming to Cowra and thinking of coming to Cowra that will also find this to be to be beneficial. Uh, so I think that's that's something we need to bear in mind. Uh, and the other comment I think is has been unfortunate. There's been a lot of misinformation about the detrimental environmental impacts. There was something on Facebook about 
uh, nuclear waste. Uh, there's been a suggestion that there could be tailing dams over there, like the like mm. Cabri Gold Mines. There's been all sorts of scuttlebutt, which is mm. which is really a lot of uh, unfortunate commentary. Uh, mm. So people are interested in this. I'd, I'd suggest they give 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 someone a ring and or, or go onto the council web page, website and get the get a look at the agenda. And, and, and in the agenda, you'll find that the DA, all the documentation is there, and to just bring yourselves up to speed. So we make informed commentary on this because it's a, it's a it's a it's a good company. Um, looking at the good things in the environment, um, I've got no doubt they're genuine in what they want to do, and I think we need to, to bear that in mind. Um, they don't need to be subject to, to uh, unnecessary scuttlebutt, which, which uh, may be uh, what's sort of gilding the lily and, and appealing to sen people's sense of, of concern about the environment unnecessarily. And people do care about the environment, as does council. So we need to keep, keep that in, in, in context.